Blimey, somebody's been skipping leg day. Hey everyone, welcome to Eurogamer. My name's Ian Higton, and today I'm going to be doing a Let's Play for you of the first 90 minutes of No Rest for the Wicked. But what is No Rest for the Wicked, you might be asking? Well, No Rest for the Wicked is a brand new action RPG from the creators of Ori and the Blind Forest. In the game, the player assumes control of a holy warrior who must travel to the island of Azola Sacra to investigate a plague named the Pestilence. And from what I gather from this trailer here, the gameplay seems to be similar to a Souls-like mixed with Diablo, and it's all played from this gorgeous top-down perspective. But how will I fare? Let's find out as we get into the game. Uh, you can choose between two body types. I'll go for the male body type. Pick a guy as pasty as me. In terms of customization, you've got a few different options here for face presets. For hair, you've got hair sliders. That's starting to worryingly look similar to how I might be soon for. They've got hair colors, facial hairs. You can change the eye positions, you can change the nose, the mouth and the jawbone. Doesn't look like you could change the uh, the body structure though, so we're sticking with uh, big arms and thin legs for this fella, I think. The best land in the world, and let's create the realm. So this is a pre-early access build, just for the press. There will be an early access build coming up soon, and this game I believe launches April the 16th of this year. P delays pending, I guess. <sighs> it's me every morning when my alarm goes off. I like the art style. Kind of feels similar so, to Dishonored. True. The king is dead. Long live Ian. Long live the king. Ian. He was a great man and a good friend. I, I will mourn him. We will all mourn him. Your father's soul is at rest now, King Magnus. The people look to you for strength. I offer my condolences and my counsel as I did for your father for the many years. The great pestilence has returned, Lord Bowers. Uh, yes, I have heard the rumors. That's what they call me. They are not rumors. Even now, it ravages the island of Sacra just off our own shores, turning their men and women into unspeakable things. The pestilence is a punishment upon those who have lost their faith. Is it now? How convenient. You question the church. You're not the church, Madrigal. You're just the tip of its spear. Enough. Whatever the cause of this sickness, I cannot allow it to spread. My father has been weak for many years. I will begin my reign doing what he could not. My king, you are grieving. I must recommend against It's any already aid. done. Tomorrow, Madrigal Selene and her Inquisition will set sail for Sacra. I promise we will cleanse the island of this wickedness. Our new king's faith in the church is well placed. Our king's faith was never in question. Ellsworth is a strong ruler, your grace. Sacra will recover. No. Sacra will be reborn. Excellent side eye there. This is my responsibility to the kingdom. With God's oh, hand, shit. we will reach into every corner of the island and bring it like a newborn babe, screaming into the light. Very different vibe from Ori and the Blind Forest, let me just say that straight off the bat. Hey, it's me. I've, I've got the horn. Okay, here we are. The gameplay has started. I'm playing this on an Xbox controller on the PC. I'm currently in the shallows. Press Y to pick up a horseshoe crab. Okay. Across Zola Sacra, you'll discover various resources. Gathering resources is key to progression and survival. So, 
this is the very beginning of the game and I'm presuming like a nice little tutorial section. Hey, so my name's Serum, huh? Oh, I knew it. <coughs> should have never brought you on board. Sorry, Captain Talvik. I should have never started that fire on the ship. I wanted to keep warm. You'll never make it to Sacrament from here. This coast is crawling. The risen. <laughs> Oh, the waves. Can you feel them, Father? Do you prefer it if you called me Daddy? We're back at sea. Oh, is he dead now? He's not dead, but he's, uh... He's, he's on his way. Oh, no, there he goes. <laughs> Rest in peace, buddy. Okay. He wanted me to press start and select uh, check something, but I can't remember. Sacrament, here we go, quest. The ship's captain told us to try and get to the city of Sacrament, but he warned that more of the raiders who attacked our ship may lurk up ahead. Let's show it on the map. Ooh. Okay, so I'm here, and we've got a big fog of war over the map. It scrolls for quite far, so seems like the initial map is pretty big, whether there'll be multiple maps or this is one world. I don't know! But we've only uncovered this much so far. We've also got bounties and challenges to look forward to, too. Well, let's head onwards up this path and see what we can find. So I can run by holding down A. That wants me to sprint around. Oh, look at all these dead people. Loot! Yes, please. Okay, so there's loot around. Another horseshoe crab. Who's this guy? You a goodie? Nope, he's a baddie. I don't have a weapon. But I can punch him. What's that? A fishing rod? I'm going to put my big arms to use because this guy is uh, dealing a bit of damage to me. As you can see in the top left-hand corner, I've lost... A third of my health. Okay, I've, equi I've acquired an equipable item. Hopefully that's the sword. Open the menu selection and select the inventory. Okay. Inventory. Was it the fishing rod? I don't... Am I going to... have to fight people with a fishing rod? What's this? The sparrow horn. Can't seem to do anything with the sparrow horn. Oh, well, I've, I've equipped the fishing rod. Oh, I've got some pants from this guy. What's that say? Press Y with a shovel equipped to dig. So there's little areas on the floor here that you can dig on if you have a shovel. Now I've got the fishing rod. And go fishing. Okay, that caught me some kind of fish, a carp. Lovely. Up on the D-pad to eat, that refills my health. I'm clicking on the left thumbstick, allows you to sneak. Wait, what's this up here? Mushrooms, there's a chest up there. Hopefully I can shimmy around the edge up here to get that chest. Yeah, there we go. What's in here? Hey, there's a shovel. Nice. Okay, copper ore, shovel, and some loot. So let's go back into the inventory. Select the shovel and equip it in that slot. And now I should be able to dig in this hole. Oh, Whatever it is, is deep down. Better keep going before the tide comes in. I got an artisma root and some clay. So it seems like there's going to be a lot of crafting in this game. This is my first time playing this game, and I'm going in rather blind with it. Oh, there we go. I got the sword. Would have been useful to go up this way first before I fought that guy, eh? Oh, well.
Okay, sword is equipped. Now I'm feeling a little bit more tasty. Your weight class is normal. A has been changed to a roll. While dodging, roll a short distance. Okay. And I can cook in the fire pit. So, i got a recipe here for mushroom soup, but I'm missing artisma herb. I thought I picked some artisma herb up, but maybe it was an artisma root. Crab chowder. Oh yeah, it was artisma root. Okay, so I can't I don't have the ingredients to cook anything delicious yet. But at least I got a sword, so now I can take on this crab and collect its loot from that. Let's head up this way. Now you can't spin the camera around at all. So it seems like this is potentially a dead end, unless I can wander up there. Press Y to sidle. I think I'm sidling into the sea. Oh, f okay, good job you can swim. <laughs> Get up, buddy. Oh, wait, hold on. It's, v it's fairly dark, this game, and I've just spotted there is a little plank of wood here to walk up with there's a chest there I can't leave loot unlooted press Y to sidle no, that's just sidling me into the water oh. well I've only got limited time so I, I, I better not try and find out what's in that chest instead Let's collect this loot, which is an armor shard components. I wonder if that's for crafting better armor. And, oh, I can't climb up that. Is this like a dead end? Seems like a dead end. I'm going to head back this way. No real balancing mechanics on this beam. It just kind of walks along it nicely. There is, there are other ways to go. Is that lootable? No. Excellent. You can smash the barrels. That's good to know. Surfaces like ladders or vines are climbable. Approach one to start climbing. Okay. Guess this might be the right way to go. What we get? Hey, look at that. And a chest. Come on. Oh. There's a way to lock onto enemies. This guy's got a shield. I'm trying to use my my dodge roll to avoid damage there, but fairly difficult to nail the timing so far. Is there anything on that guy? I don't think so. Press Y to open the chest. And we've got here a scrap bomb and repair powder to add durability to all equipped items. Cycle to quick item. There you go. So I've repaired the durability. And that has used that up from my D-pad menu over there on the left-hand side of the screen. So I can quick slot my food up. That's done my health as well. Mariner's Keep. I'm pretty sure I can't jump all the way over there. And we have got some folks that need a walloping here. Just trying to work out what my stamina bar is. It's that green circle that appears, I think. So the stamina bar not only drains when I swing my sword, but when I roll as well. So just like a Dark Souls style game, you've got to get into the habit of timing your rolls, your dodges and your swings in such a way that you don't burn through your stamina and be stuck not being able to do anything. Some more mushrooms here. Yeah, it's your first 
You can charge up your attacks as well. Oh, I need some health. Oh, f all that did was charge me right into his blade. Wow, floored me. So combat, fairly challenging. Definitely something that people who enjoy Souls likes should be fairly into, though. I wonder if when I get a shield, I'll be able to learn how to like do parries and stuff. I'm expecting I will. We've got some more loot. we got... Uh, a bone, and we've got a small vial of focus. Instantly gain a hundred focus. That is down in my quick menu now as well. Multiple routes to go, either up the stairs or down here. I'm going to go down here towards the flame, which is environmentally signposting stuff. So I need an axe to chop down the tree. Low quality meat. That's, <laughs> that's why my <laughs> That's what it says on my dating profile. Okay, ore. Okay, so you can mine ore as well with a pickaxe. Ow. Oh, god damn it. Don't die, don't die. Eat, eat food, eat food. There we go. Dodged and walloped. Well, not so much of a wallop, to be honest. There we go. Cleaved him in twain, or, or, or two, or whatever. The Ouch! Oh my god, he shot me right in the spine. I'm running away from that archer for now. I just want to see what's up here. This feels like there's going to be a place with a yeah a chest. So I'm already very much into the level design here again, and uh, you know, not a. I don't want to draw too many Dark Souls, Soulsborne stuff comparisons here, but the level design seems really intricate. Lots of places leading back on themselves. I'm probably going to be able to knock that ladder down to create a shortcut. Or another route round if, from a spawn point if I do die. So, yeah, the Soulsborne meets Diablo kind of explanation. It, it, it seems to fit with this one. Now, I need a pickaxe, and I did just get one. Uh, so, let's go to my inventory and equip the pickaxe. And now I should be able to mine this ore. Now I can fish, dig, and mine. And if I find an axe, I'll also be able to chop down trees. There we go. Collect the loot. That was copper ore resource. Smash these barrels. Yeah. Okay. Let's get right up round to this archer quickly and finish him off. He does have a sword. Stamina's gone. Hey! Close range shot in the face. Hey, I leveled up. Oh, nice. Leveling up has completely filled my health bar, which is good. Each time you level up, your stats increase slightly and you gain three attribute points. Press start to open menu selection from there. Select the status menu to assign your attribute points. Okay, I will do. But first, I want to get the crab stuffed mushroom. Okay, there we go. Status. So I've got three attribute points I can spend here. So I'm going to up my health, my stamina, and... What does X do? Insight. Here we go. Increases the dexterity. Increases the strength of your character. Weapons at scale. Intelligence. Faith. Weapon. Focus. Uh, what's this? Focus bar is essential for un unleashing powerful rune attacks. Raise the limit for equipped gear weight. I'm going to put that on. So I can be like... How I like to play Soulsborns, which is a big tank guy with a strong swinging sword. Alright, let's level those up. There we go. Get back to the action. Now, before I go up that ladder or through that door, I just want to head back here down this ladder and just see. Yeah, there we go. As I expected. It 
it's a little shortcut. Press Y to open the chest. More loot. Chipped emerald and jute threads. Can be refined into jute garments. So you, you, you craft everything here, I think. Your food, your outfits. Probably have to craft spells, maybe. Rune attacks or whatever. What is this? Tattered jute trousers. Okay, well, let's go back into my inventory and see what is better. So, the tattered jute trousers are actually worse than the uh, ones I've got at the moment, by the looks of things. They're 10 defense rather than 15. So, I think I'm going to keep the ones I've got on. I'm going to continue onwards. And hit a wall for some reason. Because this game is quite dark visually. It may be easy to miss hidden areas. Wow, this guy's pretty handy with a crossbow. Okay, eat food. Damn, my stamina is... There we go. It wasn't allowing me to roll for some reason. I don't know whether it's because I'd just taken damage or something, but... Let's do this. Let's get some more low quality meat from the rat. Did this guy drop anything? What's that? Press Y to equip. Oh, that's dropping down the tree. And what is through this door? Ah, it's locked. A Western Bridge key is needed. Fair enough, fair enough. Oh, fell down. It's fine, I think it's fine. Can we some more food, get my health up again? What is this? Whispers. At Serum Whispers, you can rest and replenish your health. If death should find you, you will be spoken anew at the last whisper you visited. Will this also respawn enemies? Find out in a second. So I've got some mushrooms. Had a little Look around. Oh god! Oh no! Okay. I. I. Oh. Uh, right. Oh. Wh whoops. I definitely didn't want to jump down there straight away. Let's. <laughs> let's go and sort out this checkpoint here. There we go. So I've activated the Serum Whisper. Has it respawned enemies? Doesn't look like it. Maybe it only respawns enemies when you respawn. Um, is there any little secret route this way? Press Y to sidle. No, not that way. Does this go anywhere? Can kind of walk on that tiny bit of wood to get. This loot here, a thieving drifter garb. Good. All this rain, I'll start to worry about my guy being a bit chilly. So this is up seven defense from whatever the hell I was wearing before. Well, that look kind of fancy now, too. I can discard things as well if I want and destroy them. I don't know whether it's better to sell them if there's merchants. I presume there'll be a merchant or something I can sell stuff to. I like the fact that you can kind of climb up a lot of things. Hey, who's... Whoa! <gasps> My new coat is on fire. Oh, Jesus. Eat that. Can I do a drop attack? I can. Okay, you can do drop attacks. Oh, no. These dead people. This seems like a fairly aggressive area. And there's some loot on top of pillars over there. I want to take it slowly though. Check out up here first. Get some more loot. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, very moody game this one, but I do like the vibe. I like that you can see areas that you'll probably be visiting in the future in the distance there. Tantalizing glimpse at some treasure chests just on that lit up flame flame illuminated platform. Press Y to pull lever. You need the gate lever handle. Okay, so I need to come back here with a handle when I find one. Oh no. Taking on two enemies at once. Maybe too much for this lad. Especially with a burn effect going on. Is that giving me any... You need to wait four seconds before you can consume another meal. That's not realistic. When I go to Jimmy Spices in Birmingham, there's no waiting before I consume more meals. Okay, mess hall key I just got. See another mushroom. The mushrooms really do minimal health upgrading, so I gotta find some ingredients so I can cook some food. Well, I am in trouble. This guy really wants a piece of Ian. Oh, that there was something massive just on the bottom left then. There was a big dude or in armor or something, but you lopped his bits off. Press Y to collect loot. What's that? A wildling coat. Okay, let's see. A singular... So that one-handed knife... I do not have the level or the attributes for it. This wildling coat is way better armor than what I'm currently wearing. Let's stick that on. If I go and activate this, is this a, like a bonfire? Does it... There you go. It fills my health up. My weight class is heavy. Oh, now, see, now putting this on has given me more, uh, more armor, but look how slow my roll is now. So I'm going to be able to tank more damage, but I'm not very nimble. That's something big in there. I'm scared of it. Oh, bloody hell. Or is it this guy? Alright. Ha ha! I have the high ground. So I, I'm getting hit in both of them at the same time when they're in close quarters, which works. Wowzers! up all the time this guy which is kind of no whoa -ho -ho. get up get up son e eat a mushroom and leg it all right just having a quick mushroom break my friend can't get back up there again now though full damage not really there's another mushroom let's grab that was that oh an artisma herb so i needed the artisma herbs for Making a recipe. Nice. Oh, is that a shield? Uh, I want a shield so I can kind of do some do some blocking. Let's have a quick look at the map again. So this is the area where I've been exploring. So technically, only a very small area. But it felt massive because of the way the, the level kind of loops around on itself. There's another Sarim Whisper up there, actually, that I missed. But there's the fire pit. I want to head to the fire pit quickly. Make myself some better food before I attempt any more um, battles. 
So here's my recipe. I've got nine mushrooms, but only one artisanal herb. So I can, I can make one of these. That's me crafting the meal. There we go. Got some mushroom soup. But that's it at the moment. Let me just check my inventory for food. So if I equip that, I've equipped that on my up d-pad button I've got all these crafting components here I need more I need more herbs and let's quickly let's quickly have a look at the map again so there is a serum whisper here I didn't find it earlier Way to sidle across to this chest now. Right. So where would that be? That serum whisper. I'm all the way up here now. There must be a way to get round to it or up to it. Far away from it, actually. I'm, I'm heading in the wrong direction. So yeah, al already quite a labyrinthine layout. I think the Serum Whisper is actually over here somewhere. Well, there's more ore to mine. I have a feeling the Serum Whisper is atop this tower. But how we get atop the tower? Oh, here we go. All right, let's activate the Serum Whisper. Get some health back. Let's see if there's anything good in these barrels. Sadly not, but they smash quite nicely. Let's kill that rat. Get some new shoes. Well, this is complete. I did like not. I did not know there was a whole structure around here. How do I get up there? Oh, is it? Is that quite a bit of crazy platforming needed? So you can climb small ledges with a press of the A button. in order to reach out of the way places. So if you're a fan of exploration as well, this one's got that going for it. Oh, Mother. Shit. Hi. Ian's eating his dinner. Ooh. Okay, my stamina is not looking too hot. I think this fella's scared of heights, though. He's not coming over this bridge, so I'm going to use that to my advantage and hit him with some charged attacks before running away, cowardly-like. Slow rolls make dodging look so clumsy. Just kind of face plants onto the floor when he rolls backwards. Oh, this guy's stunned. Can I do a finisher on him? No, nope. he got up too quick. Whoa! I leveled up again though. It's a fairly challenging game. I'm surprised I haven't died yet, to be honest. Uh, we've got some more loot here, though. Vial of stamina, fallen ember, smoldering fragment of unknown origins, huh? Hey, and a shield! Nice. Let's take all. And let's up my stamina and my health and my equip load. 
Like I said, I want to get my equip load up so I can wear heavy armor, but still be quite nimble if possible. Let's take this. Let's pick up the horseshoe crab. I don't think this guy dropped anything useful. Oh. Ah, so... Ooh. Oh, I guess the artism of root just grows on the floors in places, does it? I need to keep an eye out for that then. It's maybe it's easier to find than I thought. Uh, there's a, a raised ladder here, so that is a shortcut stroke area I have to reach from the other side before I can get up there, I think. So I head back down again and do some campfire cooking. Can I, is that a trapdoor I can open? I like it. And yeah, get myself some more health. Some more health boosting items at least. So here's the campfire. Recipes. Craft. Craft two of those. There you go. Nice and quick. I'm going to eat one mushroom just to top that health off. And then in my inventory, I'll just press A to re-equip that to the up D-pad slot. Actually, let's just check inventory again. What does this ember thing do? Um, it just says a fo smoldering fragment of unknown origin. There's no way to get any more details on it than that. Unless I just use it. I don't want to just accident hard. Ooh, what if it's bad? Oh, where am I going? So I don't think I've done this little courtyard bit yet. There's areas up here. Oh, that was the locked door, wasn't it? I need the Mariner's Gate key. Okay, let's check out this courtyard. Oh, that's nice. So you can put markers down. You can mark the map for things you found, places you want to go back to and explore. Uh, so there is. Don't you throw fire bombs at me, please? So already, because of that, that's the uh, the upgrade I did. My roll is slightly better. my equipment upgrade role. Thanks for leading me straight towards your treasure, fella. And he's dead. Small vial of poise. What is in here? Armor shard. Used to upgrade or craft armors. Used to upgrade weapons. And a ring. It would decrease my health by 23%, but it would gain 2% health on damage dealt. So a little bit of a compromise there. Let's have a look in my uh, inventory again. So the ring will appear where? where? There. If I want to equip it, there are two ring slots, and potentially it looks like a third ring slot to equip. I'm not sure I want to lose 23% of my health, to be honest. I'm barely managing with what I've got. Get a bit more loot. That looks like a climbable wall. It is. I'm not going to climb that just yet. Just going to explore the rest of this area just to see. So that Probably drops down. Yeah, that drops down to where I've been before. I don't know if I've been inside this underground area, though. There's nothing else up there that I can see. That red dot that I marked on my map is actually, was actually, oh, it is actually physically there when I move away from it. So let's climb up here. Does this just reach? Okay, so this reaches the area I've been to before where the Serim Whisper was. And if I head back down these stairs, run around this area here. Oops, smash the barrels. I just want to see if there is 
I mean, I may have already gone underground here. Oh, no, I haven't gone there. So that's a human hand. Ew. Leave it alone. There you go. There's a torch here. Is this... Oh, it's just a wall, is it? Okay, I thought that looked like an archway, like an underground passage, but it's not. It's just... Just a dead end. We're all good. We're all good. Oh, let's get the herb, though. Definitely worth picking up those herbs as much as possible. Oh, there's something in those barrels I smashed. How do I get up to this? A case of jumping off a wall, do you think? Or... I can climb up that. I can climb up that. Can I then run and... Oh, wow, okay. So I didn't know you could run and jump. That's new, so that... Well, it's new to me. So that means probably if I run back to the beach, maybe I can get that treasure chest that I kept trying to sidle towards. Maybe I can run and jump off this log here. Yes, I can. Look at that. There was me right at the start of this game trying to sidle across and just sidling all the way into the water. I found a stone tusk ring. Oh, that just, that's got just positives. I'm increased by 25%. I'm going for it. Uh, is there anything else back here? So, pretty much dead end back there. I'll go for the ore while I'm here. smash. Let's collect that. Copper ore and chipped coal. And then if I go into my inventory, I'm going to equip that ring in that slot there. And then jump back across to this post and head back to the main area. Nice. I'm into this already. I don't know how long I've, have I been playing for. But about half the way through my allotted 90 minutes of time so far, and I, I'm digging it. I think it's pretty cool. It has got a very good combat exploration to all shit. Discovery loop. I like the fact that there's crafting and recipe stuff. Makes it feel very much like an RPG as well as an action game you've got the stamina and the dodging stuff oh I haven't equipped my shield yet and maybe if I have a shield equipped so my health is decreased by 23 oh no that's the that was the ring sorry Oh, here we go. So LB to block. Blocking also consumes stamina. And if my stamina runs out, my blocking stance will be reduced. But I can block now. It didn't say anything about parrying. When I hold down block, um, it brings up the... Well, it changes the D-pad menu to X, Y, B, and A. So I'm wondering if holding down LB also at some point will allow you to um, cast magic spells with Maybe with those runes that were mentioned earlier. Uh, there were like about three or four people down in the area I just ran past. Oh no, this area there are. So there's also a way down here. I'm going to go back to the campfire and just get a bit more food before I take on multiple foes at a time. I'm okay dealing with one at a time, but when there's more than one... That's when things get a little bit airy. Airy scary. Okay, let's cook with the fire pit. And we're crafting... How many? We can only craft one, so let's do it. That has upped my ones in my bottom left from two to three. So now it's time to get fighty. So yeah, once again, 
small, tiny portion of the map. But yeah, it feels like a big, twisty maze. There's four of them here. Oh, okay. Press Y to open the door. Hiya! Oh, little three there. Oh, oh god, he floored me. Get my stamina up and hit. 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 Shield is absorbing a lot of it. My attack there, but he's down. These are fairly weak ones behind him, I think. Still, still two, still one. I don't know. The guy stood still. Whether he's like an enemy or an NPC to speak to. Guess we'll find out once I've successfully looted these corpses. Yeah. Okay, he looks like he's an NPC. He's a pal of mine, Fillmore. Hey, Fillmore. Thank you, stranger. You're welcome. Thought I could sabotage the gate to keep more of these savages from reaching Sacrament's walls. Oh, look at him. But I got my damn fool self trapped too. Well, you're lucky I was here, Fillmore. Because there's a reason I'm a blacksmith and not a soldier. Huh? Yes. Name's Fillmore. Hi, Fillmore. If you ever need anything repaired, you come to me. Nothing I can't fix. Oh, good. Well. Now here, this will open oh. the gate. Get yourself to Sacrament through the Auburn Glades to the east. It's the safest place for both of us. Sweet, sweet. Okay, so I've got a gate lever handle Keep now. Careful eye out. I heard some of these risen speak of a foul presence outside the city's gate. I haven't got out there yet. How do they... Wait, oh, someone else, not me. Okay. Uh, I'm going to see if he'll repair anything for me. Repair equipped. Repair all. So nothing needs repairing. Let's speak to him again. Can I sell anything? So... I'm going to sell... What's that? A flame spear helmet? A leather helm. Oh, I'm going to equip that. So I'm going to sell this. I'm going to sell the ring. I'm going to sell the knife. I'm going to sell the sword. I'm going to sell the trousers. And I'm going to sell... the... Uh, other trousers. I'm just work, trying to work out whether... how much you get for them. What does it say how much I would get for it when I sell it? Maybe nothing. This one, the Flame Spare Helmet, is a six, but... Yeah, I didn't get anything for those tattered leggings. I basically just gave it to them. Let's see about putting on... Oh, every time I bring up the map and not the inventory. Uh, flame Spare Helmet. Wow! Look at my little mushroom hat. Okay. And that has slowed my roll down again because I've equipped more more armor. There's a there's a hidden chest up there. I think maybe I can jump through a gap in the wall there. Not sure. Is this anything on the floor as well? This no, no. Okay, let's have a look around here. Here we go. Look. Uh, this will be where we get the chest. Oh, there's a couple. Oh. Bloody hell. Oh, wait. Is that apparent? Oh. I think I knocked the... F I don't know whether the fire thing, like, he was just caught in the area of effect explosion there or, or what, but... So, let's take that scrap bomb. So, yeah, hold now LB blocks, but left trigger... That seems that that looks like that might be a parry move. Oh, there's a lot of loot in here. Hunter's knife, small vial of focus, blade oil. When applied to a weapon, attacks deal additional physical damage. And then there is a holy prisoner rags. Healing effects increased by 24% heat resistance. So that's going to lower my armor right down, but it'll be good for like. I don't want to boost my health at all. How do I get up to that? Looks like I'm going to have to do some careful balancing, maybe. Gosh. There's a, there's a lot of precarious platforming going on here. It's so dark that it's 
hard to see where I can go. Is there anywhere to walk up there? Uh, anything? Any? I think I can climb. Can I climb onto the wall from here? I can. These the. the these characters are surprisingly agile, actually. They're more agile than I at first thought. You can really clamber up and over a lot of the <laughs> shit environment. Didn't mean to roll off there, though. Come on. Up we get. Come on, you can climb. There we go. So yeah, feels a little bit imprecise the climbing just because you can get over all different kinds of surfaces. Yeah, surprisingly nimble and that is going to really increase the feeling of exploration by quite a lot. Now I've already been in that section. Let's walk across the top of the wall here. Ouch. Can I climb up here? There's a little kind of barrier to, or a little walkway across the top there. Oh, I'm very poorly. I should stop exploring and get outside this area. Wait, oh, but what's up this ladder here? I'm, I'm already into the exploring of this, like just finding every hidden aspect of this world and uncovering all its secrets seems like something that I'm going to be well into doing. I mean, look, I did, I did find a way up in the end. Found myself a hidden chest. It looks quite green and goopy down there. Let's get all these focus shard things. Oh, there is definitely full damage. Can I cook at this fire? I can. To get another herb, so let's have another cook. There we go. And you know what I didn't do, which I should do, is have a chat with Fillmore, see what he's selling, because uh, see, maybe he's got recipes. Here we go. So I can buy recipes. I've got 63, so I've got crabs, so I can make some crab chowder. Oh, no, wait. No, that's buy it. Is, oh, are these recipes? Here we go. Res recipe for crab chowder, 30. Recipe for mushroom and meat curry, 45. I'm going to go for crab chowder. Is that wise? Would it be more wise to go for mushroom and meat because I'm moving away from the coast, perhaps? You also buy an axe. How much is the artisma herb? Okay, so I'm going to buy the crab chowder. And I'll buy another artisma herb. And then I'm going to go to the campfire here. And I'm going to cook myself a... Oh, how do I learn recipes? Crab. Okay, hold on. Hold on a minute. How do I use this item? Why? Learn recipe. There we go. Okay, so that's how you do it. You have to learn the recipe in your inventory after you've bought it. Now I have a secondary recipe, the crab chowder. So I'm going to craft that. One horseshoe crab and one herb. Nice and simple. Now I've got an extra meal on me. All right, see you in a bit, Fillmore. I'm going to open up the gate now you've given me the key. Oh, shit, I think I have to go up, don't I? So let's have a quick check through this area. Oh, man, I'm, I'm going to love exploring this world. So I could jump down there if I wanted, I guess. It might hurt a lot. And also, that is giving me the green liquid down there is giving me shades of blight town and poison floor and I, I, I don't want to I don't want to risk that at the moment why to open the door okay a strange room key is needed for that can I climb up there oh come on I want a shortcut 
up to the top if possible. Sometimes, some areas, it's easy to climb up. Other times, it's a little bit rickety. Can I go up this way? There we go. And then, hopefully, I've got the lever. Use the gate lever handle. There we go. The gate is up. Let's head on out. And there is a fellow with a big axe right in front of me. Here, what's this? Okay, we've got an artisma herb. We've got something to dig for here. What is it gonna be? Artisma root. Resource has been depleted. So I've got some more artisma root. Let's I'm going, I'm, I'm dropping down for the loot. So it doesn't look like we can go that way, but there is a little... So this is a little bridge. Is there a way out? From under here? Maybe not. Okay, I can just climb out. Okay, uh, this is probably going to end up with me getting killed, but I'm going to try and parry this guy. Yeah, it's definitely going to end up with me getting killed. No, I did it! Okay, so it seems to stun them more than anything. Biff the timing again. <gasps> Whoa! Oh my god. go another parry stunned him just kind of leaves him open to attack oh he got me oh he got me okay upon dying items occur durability loss if one is set you'll return to the last whisper activated oh that's annoyingly quite far away so do i still have my entire inventory i seem to have everything it's going to be interesting to see. It doesn't look like there's a kind of, like, um, leaving souls or, you know, memories mechanic that you have to go back and get by defeating the thing that killed you or by finding the point where you died. But maybe there will be once I get back there. Find out. Well, I died around here, and there doesn't seem to be anything on the floor. Oh, there is a green wisp there. I wonder if there's a backstab. There is! Okay, so there's a backstab too. That's cool. Ooch. Big jump. Oh, ah. and oh! I thought I was going to kill him, but he's got a second wind. Oh, no. Oh, oh that was a... <gasps> it was a good dodge, but it completely rinsed my stamina. Right, there we go. I'm not letting him kill me when he's got like 1% health left. Press Y to collect a loot. So I've got a thieving drifter garb, which I'm already wearing. And some coinage. A car. I, I'm, I'm too scared to jump off that. <laughs> oh, that green wisp was just some grass blowing in the breeze, I think. so dark, but the way the, the lightning kind of lights up the environment occasionally is pretty awesome. So again, we've got a, a raised drawbridge here. That's going to need to be lowered at some point. Mariner's Keep is to the left. Sacrament is to the right. So that's going to be a shortcut towards Sacrament, but I expect first 
I'm going to need to wander through uh, some kind of long-winded dungeon area in order to get to the point where I can double back and unlock that. So I'm here now. That's my... That's where I need to get to. Whether I'll get to Sacrament within the playtime, I don't know, because I really am milking the exploration for all it's worth. Him. Missed it. Fudge the timing. I've got some more Holy Prisoner rags. Low quality meat. And there is just above me an archer. Alright, jump. Oh, he shot me while I was jumping. This guy's got some excellent aim. Okay, yeah, holding down block means your stamina doesn't recharge. So you can't spam block and wait for your stamina to recharge, annoyingly. But I did do a level up. So let's up my health again, my stamina, and my equip load. There we go. I probably should do strength at some point. Increases strength. So... But I'm just... Did that way. I didn't. I didn't uh, do the apply. There we go. We've got a couple of routes again. There's a ladder. Oh, actually that ladder's raised. So again, that is another shortcut I can unlock later. A campfire here. Oh hey, yeah, uh, it's okay. It's just me. I'm fine. I'm a good guy. Can I speak to you? Talk. Hi. Forgive my father. Oh, I'm a Serum. My name risen. isn't Serum. Well, whoops. If you make for Sacrament, there are worse things than bandits up ahead. A great beast is loose in these glades. Oh, God, a great beast. Okay, so that'll be the big first big boss fight, I guess. They say it used to be a man. I wanted to go after it, but father says... The father says the torn are not to be trifled. Yeah. And he's right. He's right, yeah. Okay, let's not trifle with the torn then. Have we got anything I can cook at the fire pit? I do. I've got... How many I cooked there? I cooked seven? Wait. Do I have loads of... How did I manage to cook so many? Craft. Oh, I've craft loads of these. Did... Do they not need... Oh, it just needs ho horseshoe crab. Oh. That, my inability to read UI astounds me occasionally. So I just need crab for the crab chowder. I didn't need the herb. But I do have two herbs, so I can craft two of these. There we go. Bloody hell. There's a lot to think about. Anyway, so I've got four mushrooms selected in my quick bar at the moment. I'd rather have some hearty meals. Are we the other side of the drawbridge? Oh, that, okay, that was that was a lot easier than I expected it to be. Let's kick down the bridge. Come on. I'm going to be in the right position. There we go. A little shortcut added. We've got a campfire there. Let's just take a quick look at the map. Just hoping there was a one of the what they called whispers, Serum whisper, but none so far. None shall pass. This is the Auburn Glade. Oh wait, this. Okay, here we go. One right here. It's a slightly different biome here. More like a wooded glen area, and that was a terrifying roar. Are we going to find the beast that made it? This this looks daunting. We've got 25 minutes left. 
So, hold on, let's have a look at the map. So, there were multiple routes I could have gone. I've ended up going down here. That's where my objective is, but something brutal lurks beyond this wall, I think. Okay, so we are, we're going to get to see a boss fight. Uh, that used to be a man. Oh, I can see the resemblance, but... Oh my god, it's really fast! Ouch. Ouch. God, this is a crazy fight. I'm really not dealing with my stamina requirements too well here. Oh, I need to... Oh, shit! I died reading the text about needing to wait three seconds before I could consume more food. So you can't just wolf down food after food after food uh, to keep your health up. You've got to, you've got to really um, take your time yeah, with the healing and the fighting. I think. You let me know if you need anything repaired. So Fillmore, maybe he he's like the merchant from Resident Evil 4. Maybe he teleports backs and forwards to these little areas. I'm going to sell some stuff. I'm going to sell that. I'm going to sell that. I'm going to sell that. And I'll sell this as well. And let's talk to him again. Is there anything that he's repairing? No. Uh, buy. Scrap bomb. I'll, I'll buy the woodcutter's axe. What's that? A one-handed mace? I've got the shovel and the fishing rod. Flame scale oil. When applied to a weapon, attacks deal additional fire damage. How much have I got? I've got 28. I'm going to buy it. Is that left me with? No, not enough to buy a herb. But I'm going to try that fight again, but this time I'm going to put fire damage on my sword. So all these areas off the beaten track I, that I could explore as well. Like, I really just want to wander off and go exploring. Which is a very good sign. It means there's an interesting world been built. So I'm going to go into my inventory. I'm going to I'm going to use this flame scale oil. And I'm going to run in and try the fight again. Ouch. Straight away. Into his attacks. Get up. Fell down on his ass. Let's eat some food. Okay, so the flame effect doesn't last terribly long. Did seem to do a bit more damage on him, though. The trouble with this guy is he is so swift, and my build is sluggish. I have to wait naught seconds. Shut up. I have to wait naught seconds before eating food. Let me eat the food. Don't tell me off. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> watching that. Wow, you really have to wait a long time before Dindins. Uh, oh, fuck. Warwick the Torn tore me a new one again. Right, getting used to the time delay between being able to heal is going to get me a little bit. I don't want to waste my time on a fight that I'm probably severely under-equipped to deal with. So I'm going to utilize the last 20 minutes of my allowed capture time. Just have a little look around this area a little bit more. See what else we can discover. 
There's a Sarin Whisper down there, but I can climb up to this point. Once again, very, very dark. This might be a game that some of you want to turn the gamma up on. Is there anything? Is there a way through? Nope, there's definitely a way down, though. Christ. Herbs. Cooking, cooking. What's cooking good looking? Let's climb back up again and go to the right hand side. So there's a collectible down there that I missed when I was on ground level. Just, there's definitely... Oh, it's so dark. I wonder if you can craft a torch or something. Oh! oh bloody hell, that was... Quit. Ouch. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Okay, that blocked that. Oh, I tried to parry his move. <gasps> Am I going to die? I gotta wait 12 seconds to eat. Oh, he shot his mate in the back! Brilliant. Big fan of that. That crab chowder actually doesn't fill up much health, does it? I thought it did the whole thing, but. Where's my sword? Did I accidentally put my sword away, or is my sword broken? sword is there. Wait, where's it gone? I just unequipped it somehow. Oh, hold on. There it is. Equip. Oh, what's this? RB and X. Okay, so I have a super punch move, which I didn't know I had. <laughs> Super punched me off a cliff. There you go. D-pad must s go between weapons. And I must have accidentally D-padded my weapon going for food. And just, like, unequipped it. So left or right on the D-pad will switch between weapons and shields, I expect. I'm interested to find out more about this focus move. Right, it's a sword now that I've got a sword equipped. Just need to find someone to hit with it. With these green colours. It is on the root. Herbs. Nice little quiet point of discovery. Here we go. Here we go. Right. R B. Oh, fuck. And X. Why is it not doing anything? R B and X. Maybe I don't have a charge or something. I think I've. Whatever I used then to do the big punch that threw me off the cliff, I've wasted it. I think, because that is not red anymore. Oh, This thing is mean. Oh, God. Oh, no. Wow, so swift. Maybe a strength build isn't too good. Maybe I need to concentrate on speed more. Watch your item's durability. I didn't read what that said. Are you able to repair? Can't thank you enough no, for me I didn't want to speak. Ah, oh, you ah uh, woo. Repair all. I'm not really sure about the durability and stuff. Let's run this way. Have a look around here. Oh, I can dig here. Some 
play. More herbs. Wash you crab for my recipe. Oh, I'm in the water there. Let's have a look at the map. So that's the boss fight. Mm. That boss fight is blocking the way to Sacrament, basically. There's a whole area here I can go to try and check out. I think I can get around that way, though. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, crab. Was there a way to climb? Yeah. Here we go. Look. I was blocking those attacks, but at the same time, he's knocking me over. Ouch. Wow. Blocking with the shield, it has to be dead on with the, the trajectory of the arrow to hit it. Oh, he fell off. Haha, -ha, sucks to be you. That, we're gonna grab that. Mushrooms. I don't want my mushrooms selected. I want my mushroom soup selected. Mushroom soup, I think, increases, uh, gives you a, like a much bigger health increase than the crab. Where's this leading me? We're on an adventure. It's, it, it totally feels like we're on an adventure here. Look, I'm, I'm going into the unknown. I don't know what, what to expect. So in terms of locking on to enemies, by the way, in Dark Souls and stuff like that, you normally have to click to fuck! So you can fall off those things then. You normally have to click in a thumbstick to lock on to enemies. Uh, in this, it just kind of locks on to the, the closest thing automatically. Good there. Uh... Oh, wow. Suddenly got terrible at combat. I want to know what's in that chest. Right. One more time. Mm -mm -mm. We're gonna cut him. Buddy, that's rude. Hey! Ah, oh, that little shove moves. Such an asshole thing to do. Yeah, you definitely get more health from the mushrooms than you do from the crab. Oofed. Oh my god. Oh my god. Backstab. Yeah. Okay, so you, just getting behind the enemies gives you 
Fuck! Just getting behind the enemies gives you the option to backstab, I think. It, you don't even need to um, sneak up on them, which is what I thought maybe you had to do. This is, a very mu this is very much a learning experience for me. You're learning with me. But all you need to know mainly is that I'm into it. It's cool. Different vibe to Ori, definitely, but... Yeah, really cool Soulsborne style uh, adventure with a with a Diablo style uh, viewpoint. And my weapon is doing like fairly terrible damage. Backstab in there. Shit. I'm gonna eat some food. Oh, he's knackered. Damn, I stunned him then. Oh, he's so angry with me. Stop pushing me, dude. It's rude to shove. Oh, I keep hitting too much. Wait two seconds. This is like when my parents used to tell me I had to eat my dinner before I could have my pudding. There we go, finally! Wow. That was a, a tougher battle than I thought it would be. Okay. Oh, we got... Ooh, got a new sword though. And an, another ring. So that was worth it. So let's go to my inventory. And to... Oh, that's a key. A mess hall key. Wait, I didn't use that in the Mariner's Keep. <gasps> There's a whole area in the first bit that I haven't looked in. Unbelievable. Uh, right, sword. Let's equip that sword. Oh, look at that. This armor's not good. This ring, it's the same as that. I think. Oh, my we look, look, my movement is even slower now. So I could continue up, upwards, onwards and upwards. But I think what I'm going to do is I've got seven minutes left. Let's try and throw myself to my death. I'm going to go back to the main, well, to the starting area and use that key and see what was in the in the mess hall. Now, what's interesting is, even though I've said Soulsborne about ten gazillion times, what's interesting is it doesn't seem like the enemies are respawning. Uh, which is normally, you know, a staple kind of thing in a Soulsborne-style game. But here... Um, ah, here, everything you kill seems to stay dead. Might be refreshing for some. Still a challenge to kill these things. But you can kind of rest at fires or whatever those whispers are and whatnot. And you can die without worrying about having to then wade through legions of enemies that you've already killed. Where was that door? I think it's up here. Open the door. Oh! Balls. What was the mess hall door then? Fuck. Can't believe I've wasted my last seven minutes. I've wasted my life! What on earth would the mess hall be? That's already used. Does it say if it's been used or not? I mean, I, I'm uncertain that maybe this is the mess hall. This looks fairly mess hall-y, doesn't it? I think this is probably the mess hall. So sod it. Um, I'm going to 
I'm going to wrap it up here because I think I've taken quite a good in-depth look at the beginning 90 minutes of No Rest for the Wicked. Hold on. Just going to cook up some crab. Uh, I really like it. Love the visuals. Maybe a tad too dark at times, but the exploration around the world, very compelling. The twisty, turny, labyrinthine level layouts, the hidden areas, the places you can only access by climbing up and, you know, jumping over rickety bits of scenery is awesome. Getting all those shortcuts will be um, something that everyone's going to want to do, I'm sure. The combat is fun, but very tricky if you're into Soulsborne style combat then you're gonna really enjoy the the dodging the attacking stamina kind of requirements the parrying there's backstabbing there's all the kind of things you love from combat in a Dark Souls game done in this lovely Diablo-esque top-down perspective uh, this game I knew nothing about really before playing this demo and now I want to know loads more I'm well into it I reckon this could be a game that properly sucks me in once it comes out and I believe as I said earlier hold on uh, April the 16th Windows PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X for this so keep an eye on this channel for more stuff about no rest for the wicked leading up to and beyond its release. Do like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to Eurogamer for almost daily videos about video games. And I'll see you soon here for more video game stuff. Right. I'm going to go fight this thing again. Uh, click on some of these other videos that are on screen uh, right now, by the way. They're great. That one above me. Whoa. Oh, well good. Well good. Oh, my God. The oh, what's not good is this guy. I haven't even tried attacking with this two-handed sword, two, two, two sword yet. It's very sluggish, but wow, it wallops him. Oh, God, he's not being walloped more. Oh, God.